Hello Power Rangers fans and welcome back to Rangers of the Universe. I'm Chris and I'm here with another Power Month video and it's going to be on our newest upcoming season in one month Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. Now I don't have the Cosmic Fury Megazord itself that is up on Amazon the five pack of these five Zords. I don't have that one because I mean it's what, $72, and even though it's on sale right now for $55, I can't justify spending that when I have these already. Maybe if it goes even cheaper than that, I'll pick it up at some point to do a comparison video, but absolutely, I'm happy with the Q-Ranger Zords themselves. So I am going to talk about these, do a Cosmic Fury Zord review video, talk about the Q-Ranger Zords, show all the functions of these off. Because, I mean, this, I got these for, I got all of this for less than $77. I got an excellent deal on it, and I have the boxes for this Megazord, the Scorpio, and the Re, and the uh, Ryu Voyager. Because I did get the, the Ryu Taiyo in separate in pieces. But, I mean, this is, this main Zord is just about the same price on Amazon as the Cosmic Fury one. This one has electronics, it has lights and sound, so, I mean, it's an equal trade-off. I don't think the Cosmic Fury Megazord is bad. $72? That's, uh, that's a little excessive. But yeah, I mean, I did a video on this before on the channel, but I'm doing a new and updated improved one, you know. Before, I didn't have the sky blue, I didn't have pink, so I'm adding those into it. I'm going to do a more in-depth, better review, showing it off, especially with Cosmic Fury coming out in a month. Absolutely cannot wait for that, you know, Power Month's almost done, not many days left, you know, we are winding down at the end of it. So, let's go ahead, take a look at the Zords, let's go right into it. We got, right off the bat, our uh, Lion Voyager that's going to be belong to Cosmic Fury Red, Amelia Jones herself, played by the amazing Hunter Dino. You know, a bunch of great casts of that. So, this forms the main body of the Megazord. You can see you've got the uh, Lion Kutama. Now, we've gotten between the opening and then some extra behind the scene photos we've gotten from Simon Bennett and some articles. The cockpits, look, the Zord cockpits are different for Cosmic Fury. They do look absolutely amazing. I love the look of them. I love the change that they did. So we've got the Lion Voyager. Now, to put it, this is just the Lion Voyager in regular mode. To put it in Megazord mode, you turn that, turn that, put that in, put that in, and you just turn the face there and put the face down. So that's how you form that with the Megazord part. Then you have the Wolf Zord, which... From the opening, Billy is piloting, which Ollie is the Blue Ranger, but if uh, if the rumors are true of what happens, we do know Billy will become, will pilot a wolf sword once again. You know, it has been, what's it been, 28 years since Billy was Mighty Morphin Blue, Season 3, Blue Ninjetti Ranger with the Wolf Ninja Zord. So, he'll once again be piloting a wolf sword, you know, with, so this one too, it has articulated the Q-Ranger Megazord, the Q-Reno is a lot bigger than the Cosmic Fury one, and has more paint applications with it, so this has an opening mouth feature, and then you also do have, you know, the, the uh, wolf Kutama, Kutama 3, so it forms the now, something I love, too, about the Q-Ranger Megazords is they all can be arms, legs, anything you want. It is not set to what you can do, and they can do any kind of formation. So, like, normally, he's the leg. So, normally, blue would be the right leg. Yep, so normally, blue's the right leg, so that's where Billy is going to be piloted. Then you have green, the Chameleon Zord, which is going to belong to Izzy Garcia, Cosmic Fury Green, played by the great Tessa, the amazing Tessa Rao. 
you know, absolutely love the Cosmic Fury cast. I met four of them, Tessa, Chance, Hunter, and Jordan at Power Morphicon, and they are just such amazing people to talk to. So if they ever come to a con near you and you have the opportunity to meet them, definitely do that. They're a great group. So the Cosmic Fury, the the uh, Qreno, the Chameleon Zord, Chameleon Green, has a movable tongue feature, which is absolutely amazing. You know, she forms the right arm. You have the chameleon right there. And you do it like that. Put it like that. And then put the right arm in. And then we're going to take a look at the Swordfish Zord, which for Cosmic Fury, they have changed to the Shark Zord. Now, if you want to make it a leg, it'd be like that. To make it an arm, it would be like this. So that's that, and then you have, yep, the arm right there. You have the swordfish, but this is now the Cosmic Fury Shark Zord. So what a, was a swordfish for us is what was a swordfish for Japan is a shark for the U.S. This was Kutama 9. He was the, even though he wasn't the ninth one to join the team, he is considered the ninth ranger. Yep. So, the Swordfish Sword, or going to be Cosmic Fury Shark Sword. And then we have... So, this is also going to be piloted by Ion. Ion is no longer the sixth member of the team, even though he is retaining his gold color. He is going to pilot the Yellow Shark Sword in Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. He will no longer be the sixth ranger. He will be part of the main team. And then we have our Black Bull Zord. So, this forms the left leg of the Megazord, or it can also be the arm. You just push that back with it and put it like that. You have the Toro sign there, the number five Kyutama. This will be piloted by Javi Garcia, Chance Perez, the Cosmic Fury Black Ranger. I absolutely, I can't wait for Cosmic Fury in general, but I definitely can't wait for his storyline Gotta find out about that metal arm. Now, let's move this up a bit to show off the electronics. So, you've got your Megazord formed right here. The power button is right there. So, we're going to do that. And you can see they all... They all light up. And you can see, you can see like the little Q-Ranger in there. Because the Q-Rangers... We're stationed in their Q-Tamas. That's what they did to pilot the Zords. Now there's also a button here. So size the docking is when the other Q-Ranger Zords join in. Yep, you can see the pilots for all of them. As a bunch of rotation of sounds. Alright. Yep. Yep, so you can see all the little Q Rangers. Yep, so that is all the sounds. So it has a few different sounds. It has a button right there. That's what you push. So you saw it has lights and sounds in the feature, which is absolutely amazing. I do love the paint application. You know, it's got the nice gold, the red where it's supposed to be. Even the uh, lion face here. It's got a nice outline, nice silver paint, green eyes. So the paint application on the Cosmic Fury Megazord is extremely good. And then you do have two. You can always interchange it out. Now, like, we have the pink Zord, you know, which we know, Washi Washi Pink, which we know is going to appear in Cosmic Fury. You know, we saw it in the opening. We don't know who the pilot of it is going to be. You know, I definitely don't think things are going to be locked to color because Ion's a Gold Ranger piloting the Yellow Zord. And also, from behind the scene photo we saw... Ion also is, that was shared by Simon Bennett. We see Ion in the Jordan fight in the sky blue cockpit. So he's also seen, he'll also be piloting the sky blue Megazord, the bear, Koguma sky blue, 
which we did not see this one in the trailer in the opening. So I do find that interesting. This was a Zord in my Cosmic Fury opening breakdown reaction video, which check that out. Definitely watch that. You know, I mentioned how we didn't see this one. And would it appear? You know, we didn't see this. We didn't see Ryu Voyager. With this appearing and seeing Ion pilot it, I actually do think now we have the possibility of seeing Ryu Voyager in the show and Ryu Taiyo because we know Fern's going to be piloting this. We know from behind the scene photo, Ion is going to be in this sword at least once. So we could at least see once the Ryu Voyager and see them form Ryu Taiyo. Now also, you know, the main Megazord for these is Ryu Taiyo. But for the Scorpio here we do have, you know, which amazing Scorpion look. I absolutely love this sword. You know, Scorpion Kutama. I love Sasori Orange. He's actually my favorite from Q Ranger. Well, him and Ryu Commander. I mean, it's not. It's hard not to love that purple Ryu Commander suit. Now, for the uh, to swap him out. Usually, he obviously this forms an arm. So for the arm, you do it like this. So the weapon is the Scorpio. So normally, you just take out any Zord you want. You can put him to either arm, and that would be an arm of the Zord, and it's a scorpion weapon. It has the scorpion stinger of it. So obviously you can also make him a leg as well, which, let me see if I remember how to make him a foot. There we, yep, it'd be like that. So too, if you want to make him like, a foot of the Zord or anything like that. You turn that like that. And it'd be like this. So that's also how you do it that way. Where. Let's see. Yep. Now it goes like that. There we go. But mainly he's used for an arm weapon. So that is Sasori Orange. He goes with Ryu Voyager for Ryu Taiyo. Get to him in a minute. But yeah back to Washi Pink. You know we could see Emilia pilot this as well but i think she'll mainly stick to lion voyager you know it'll definitely be interesting to see or if it's just gonna attach on there because also oh let's put back on voyager here also we see in the show we'll turn off the electronics there you know we've seen in the show too re voyager the uh washi washi pink plugs in in the back and also forms wings to the Megazord so the Megazord can fly. That was another thing. It has the plugs here where you just, you have pegs there, pegs right there, and you can plug it into the back so it aligns right like there. Yep, you align it right there. It just plugs in, and then QRNO can take to the sky and fly. So that is also a possibility of something we could see there. And she also does make a weapon where you have stationed in there. And she forms like an arrow type of thing. You turn the wings like that. And she forms an arrow. So they use her to for a bow and arrow kind of weapon with there. And then to form the foot. It's like, it's like this. So, to put her as the end of a Megazord too, if you want to have her as a foot, it's like that. So, sh the Washi Washi Pink Zord can also form both. And then, as I said, back to regular mode. You just have it like this. Yep. So that is the pink Zord Washi Pink. Washi Washi Pink. Now, we're going to take it off and go to the Ryu Tayo. Now, this is a huge Mega Zord. I don't even know how long it is. It's got to be at least almost like. It's definitely over a foot long. Whoops, the uh, head cap fell off. But you have that, Ryu Commander. He holds his uh, Kyutama down below. So to form the Megazord of it, you take that off. 
take that down. You break it in between right there. And you're going to form You do that, bend the leg there, bend, bend the leg there. So you make the feet with that, you bend it in, you take the top, take the other top, you're going to grab the head, you have a peg right there and a peg right there. So you're going to take that and let's see. Yep, all right, we got that in. So you have the head of Ryu Taiyo there. Then you take your Ryu Voyager Kyutama, place it in there. And then for Ryu Taiyo, you grab your Saucery Orange. Oh, gotta get that in there tighter. And you grab your Beer Zord. So the Koguma Sky Blue, he has the little beer. It's the Koguma constellation. So there's the little bear and the big bear. So for this, you fold those in. How is it? Yep. So you go like that and fold. So they're like that. And then you, yep, you fold that side in and it's like this. So you then oh, gotta put that around, which you have the Koguma sky blue. And you plug that in there. Which Koguma Sky Blue was a little kid. And this is the Megazord of it. Yep. Yeah, because it plugs in right there. You have that going. Oh, whoops. Came unattached. That also happens with the Kyutama. You gotta... Sometimes they do that. And they come unattached like that. But... That is also Ryu Tai O. So I'm definitely hoping we see this. I mean, we potentially could with both Sasori Orange and Kuguma Sky Blue being in the show. But that's not all. There's one more formation. You take these off. These two Megazords can combine to a new Megazord. So you're going to take your Kureno, take those two out. You're going to put in the Koguma Sky Blue. And the Saucery Orange. Those take over there. And then you saw we got the clips on the back. Two clips right there. Two right there. So you're going to take. Put, the, put that up. Put that up. Put that out. Put that out. And then you're going you're gonna to want to line these up. Yep. So you're going to want to line them up. Make sure the pegs are in nice and tight. You're going to take that. Take your Megazord. All right. Zone that out so we can get it. You're going to take off the helmet here. Twist this around because he is not the face. You only need one face to the Megazord. So you twist that around. You're going to take this. You're going to plug, there's two plugs right there, two plugs. So you're going to take the plugs, plug it in to the little plugs right there. You're going to plug that in there. So you can have it mouth closed or mouth open, whichever. And then you're going to take, you still do have these zords. So you're going to take, turn it like that. Put it in there. You've got the chameleon. And you're going to take the swordfish. Turn that around. And put it in there. And you have. I'm drawing a blank on the name right now unfortunately. But you have the Kureno and Ryu Tayo combined. Which is Voyagers 1 through 11. So well actually never mind. Minus that. It's not 1 through 11 because gold, silver, and pink are not in this combination. So Habitsuke, silver, Tenbin, gold, and Washi Washi pink are not in this combination. But you can put them in the combination if you want to. 
you can take pink and put it in place of blue, black, green, yellow, whichever one you want. So, as I said, they're interchangeable. Any can be the legs or arms. Unfortunately, I do not yet have Tenbin Gold and Habitsuke Silver. I am going to pick those up. You know, I want both of them. They're always easy, pretty easy to find on Bai, super cheap. I use Bai for just about anything Japanese. I always make, get great prices on there. You know, it is a great site to use. So if you don't use it, definitely check it out. You know, the shipping, it does ship from Japan, so it can get pricey. But just keep it in the warehouse, ship in bulk, so you save a lot more on shipping. But yeah, that is all for this video. I mean, I absolutely do love the Q-Reno Ryutayo. So far, this is... These are the only Q-Ranger Zords I have. You know, I don't have the Orion Battleship. I don't have Gigant ho -Oh. I don't have those ones with it. But, you know, I do absolutely love these Zords. So, if, you know, you're wary, if you're wary about the price, you know, the paint application on the Cosmic Fury Zord, on the Cosmic Fury Mag Zord, a good alternative is the q because you do at least get lights and sound with it for just about the same price. As I said, though, Cosmic Fury Megazord is on sale for $55 right now on Amazon. Now, the five-pack is an Amazon exclusive, meaning that there's about a 99.9% .9 chance that we're probably going to see, like, the Dino Fury ones. We're going to see red all on its own, and then maybe, uh, I'd say, blue and green and black and yellow because I feel like they want to put the two legs... Granted, they're interchangeable. They want to put the two legs and two arms together. So I feel like it'll probably be black and green or blue and green and then whichever with whichever. So I feel like it's going to be three packs again. And then maybe we could see orange and sky blue together or pink, gold, silver. I don't know. Because definitely with more showing in the preview in the opening, I don't think they're just going to release the main five, the... Yeah, main five and not release like orange, especially with an orange ranger. Sky blue, gold, silver, pink, you know, all that fun stuff. So that's all for this video. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at rangers underscore of the underscore universe. Hit that follow button. I've been doing posts. Every single day of Power Month, sometimes multiple times a day of each different season, uh, favorite clips, things like that. What I love, what I don't love. Because, you know, I'm, I don't have nice things to say about every season. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, you know. Each season did have some, has its positives. But, you know, I mean, we had some rough seasons, rough eras. And I say what I liked and didn't. So, be sure to hit that follow button, you know. And, uh... Any questions, comments, let me know. And yeah, let me know your what you're excited for with Cosmic Fury. If you did buy the Megazord, what you think of it. You know, I might pick it up to do a uh, comparison review at some point. But that's all for this video. Let's, uh, only a couple days left of Power Month. So let's close it out with a bang, you know. Can't wait for Cosmic Fury. We got one month till that. Absolutely can't wait. Tune in. And also, you know, November, we just had announced for Ranger Stop Orlando, the Dino Charge Aqua Ranger. He has never made a con appearance before, especially in U.S. soil. He's coming over. I will be at Ranger Stop Orlando. So if you're able to go, definitely go. It'll be my first Ranger Stop personally, and I am extremely excited. I absolutely cannot wait. So... Let me know if you're going, and I will see you there. And stay tuned for all future Power Rangers, Super Sentai, and Tokusatsu content. So, may the power protect you. Let's have a great rest of Power Month, and see you soon with more content.